The Cool Cap system is the latest in cutting edge technology that was designed to prevent or reduce brain damage in newborns who have oxygen problems during birth. We asked Dr. Vijay Dar of Children's Hospital of Orange County to explain this life-saving technology. Because of certain conditions uh, they are born with uh, and certain conditions that babies are exposed to in utero before they are born, uh, their breathing and circulation will be compromised. Uh, these babies, uh, although small in number, have a very high risk of a bad, very bad uh, neurological outcome, if not death and dying. Um, those babies could be helped with brain cooling. Uh, as I said, there are two studies now that clearly show, uh, two very large studies, uh, that uh, it could be neuroprotective. We asked Dr. Dar to explain the cooling cap system. Well, if the baby has uh, been exposed to birth asphyxia, in medical language we call it hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, uh, and the risk of neurological injury and death is very high, then this promising, promising technology and therapy of uh, brain cooling can be offered. For this to work, it has to be done in the first six hours of life. Um, we have to take the baby down to an intensive care environment and start the cooling process. The cooling process can be done by placing the baby on a cooling blanket or it can be done by placing a cooling cap and both the technologies are available in this country now. We bring the body temperature down to about around 34 degrees Celsius and normal body temperature as you know is 36.5 to 37 degrees Celsius. So moderately cold but not very cold. Once we have initiated cooling in the first six hours of life, then the cooling has to be continued for 72 hours. After the 72 hours cooling, the baby can be rewarmed over the next four hours, uh, slowly in uh, progressive increase in temperature uh, to re-establish normal temperature. And timeliness of this therapy is critical. It has to be offered in the first six hours of life. So the babies, if they're born at other location, have to be transported with this condition as early as possible. Um, and uh, that would have a definite influence on the better outcome or better neurological outcome of their babies. Most of the research is focused on babies exposed to birth asphyxia, the process of not breathing at birth and not having good brain circulation at birth. Uh, but once again, if there is neuroprotection here, we know of a number of studies in adults also after they have a heart attack or they have a pulmonary embolism, that means a clot in the lung, and their circulation to the brain is compromised or the oxygenation to the brain is compromised, uh, we have seen more and more adult application of this technology uh, with similar good results. Um, there are multiple conditions uh, in the pediatric intensive care world and in the neonatal intensive care world where brain circulation, even after birth, uh, for example, after cardiac surgeries, can be compromised. The oxygenation to the brain can be compromised. And potentially, we can apply this therapy uh, during the period we are working on the heart or working on the lungs to protect the brain. This holds great promise in that field.